Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. You know what? I've done this video a thousand takes today and I'm tired. This is going to be the take that whatever goes wrong in this take, we're going to live with it because I'm not doing anymore. I'm going to be talking about uh, Treasure's, um, basically uh, the Treasure wallet, Model T, uh, 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 what's it called? The hardware wallet. Yes. Uh, a lot of these hardware wallets, man, uh, they're a pain in the butt, I swear to God. Um, all of them the same. They all have their different issues. And they're not easy to use. And you know what? But this is what we have in order to do long-term storage. I never use these things other than for long-term storage. To use them on a daily driver to send money, I'd be dying. I mean, I'd be like, I'd throw this thing through the window. I swear to God. That's how painful it is. To use these things on a daily basis, in my from my point of view, for, maybe for you guys it might be a lot easier. But for me, all of those that I've used are very very painful to use uh, when you are trying to use it as a daily uh, use case for uh, um, you know spending your cryptocurrencies. I think they they need to make these things simpler. Maybe the um, uh, What's it called? The uh, the tre not treasure, but uh, ledger has their uh, has a simpler version uh, with the uh, the one that they use as Wi-Fi. But uh, I haven't tried that one yet, and uh, I need to try it. But anyways, I'm going to connect this up. Um, I mean, we're going to show you uh, what I'm going to show you today is uh, actually the passphrase, basically allowing people allowing you to like um, survive. So just in case you know somebody puts a gun to your head and says, hey. Give me your your um, your cryptocurrencies. Um, you can um, hide your where your cryptocurrencies are using a passphrase. And I'm going to show you that right now. So over on my computer, right, we can type in. Um, if you type in Trezor, oops, oops, oopsies, oopsies, in the wrong screen. Trezor dot Da Vinci codes Da Vinci. Sorry, Da Vinci J fifteen dot com. You'll, you'll take you right to their page, and uh, that is my, uh, my affiliate link, of course. And you can purchase your um, Model T, Treasure One. Of course, this passphrase thing does work with the Treasure One as well. And you can get a combo with this Crypto Steel. As you can see right here, I have the Crypto Steel as well here. Um, and all the different options here. You can even box purchase your Crypto Steel here if you haven't purchased one already okay so next we are going to connect to this and you know a lot of things are going to go wrong with this i'm sure but um this video but you know what we're just going to go through it and live with whatever the results are but anyways let's see here all righty um so i already own a uh, treasure and i'm going to click on the mo the, the the model t ford model t uh, <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, right, you can see here, uh, right here, I'm like pointing to it. Um, do you see how the sticker, I took the sticker off and, and you can see that it left residue, right? That, um, that is very annoying and they need to, to work, come up with a solution for that. But anyways, you could tan remove it, but uh, it takes a little bit of uh, elbow grease. All right, with that said, um, it says connect my treasure, and um, yeah, it is connected. And let me see, try and see. I, I told you, this is uh, this is why I, I would lose it. This is an example of where I would lose it, where trying to use this as a daily driver. It's connected. I mean, this was working before, and now it's not. And there's nothing disconnected. And here, I'm going to try connect it again. And yeah, um, it's not going. Not sure why. Let's see here. Maybe I have to unlock it. Continue. Connect your treasure. Well, let me try unlocking it then. Um, I'm entering my PIN. Right. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to enter my PIN here, and uh, hopefully that uh, gets it going. Uh, I mean, this is the kind of thing you have to deal with with these things, right? And uh, and that's why I am not not really keen on using these as a daily driver. So I'm just entering my pin here. Uh, there you 
go. Let's see here. Let's see if that worked. Did it unlock? Did it unlock the uh, treasure? Yes, it did. Okay, there you go. So I guess that should have been more than just plug in your device. It should be unlock your device. Now, uh, uh, I'm going to hit the enter in the device, uh, enter the passphrase because I've got already passphrases set up on this device. So I'm going to enter the passphrase on the host. I can enter it on the screen there if I want to. And I can enter whatever passphrase I want, of course. Um, and I'm going to enter in. I'm going to make it visible because I, it's not a passphrase that I want. I use, right? Uh, I'm going to use DaVinci J15. DaVinci J15. And then it uh, brings you to your wallet, right? And uh, where you can see there's nothing here, right? And uh, yeah, but that's not the passphrase I, I, I use to store all my stuff. Um, I do have a, a default passphrase and I'm gonna just open it up and see if this thing switches back to that. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna enter it on the, uh, the host. Oh, you have to enter in the, the exact same passphrase that you entered in at this point in time. So if I entered in something else, right, um, it would go error. So the only way to, to um, go back to a different passphrase and use a different passphrase is to disconnect the device again and forget this, also forget it, right? You must forget it. Re-enter your, your, your code again and then enter in your passphrase which I find absolutely ridiculous. But that's how this thing works. And so um, we have to live with how they um, develop this thing. And um, there's nothing else we can do because um, I'm, sure, I'm sure we can complain to them all we want and they will ignore us like most uh, developer software hardware companies. All right, so I'm just remembering they they move the numbers around on this thing, um, so that uh, no one can like if somebody's filming me like moving my fingers around in front of the uh, the the, um, the cam the, the the device they will not see what numbers I've entered. So I'm going to just hit enter right here, and you can see hopefully this thing uh, did it work. Oh, I entered the wrong pin. And I have to wait, uh, I have 15 attempts before it actually like re resets this thing. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, let me try again. I'm using this pen, right, to enter my, um, my uh, passphrase. And because I have like fat fingers, let's see if that works. Yes, it did, there we go. And over here, is it connected? Yes, it is, there we go. So then we're going to enter the passphrase on the device and I'm going to just, um, this is my default passphrase. And you can see I have a little bit of cryptocurrencies in that, in that, uh, in that, in that particular passphrase, right? So that you can, and this, so if somebody comes to me and says, Hey, you know what? Uh, give me your passphrase, right? For this, uh, this thing. And I would suggest you always forget the device all the time because then um, this way, if you're using a passphrase, the, the main, like this, let's just say this was your main wallet, which I would well, highly doubt you'd use a, a blank password as your main uh, wallet. Uh, make sure that you forget the device every single time that you go to your main wallet and never have it available on the, on the, um, on, on the, on the system. Now, what you could also do, right? Um, of course, this is going to forget the device uh, when I disconnect, forget, right? What you can also do is disconnect. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, I have to go in and enter in my pass, my seed phrase again um, when I disconnect the device, which I find again. It's it's it's, it's this, these are the annoying things which shouldn't happen, right? Because once you've um, once you've entered in your your uh, your passphrase, you should be able to go around the application. Your your first your pin code actually not your password your pin code. Once you've entered the pin code once, you should be able to go around 
from every part of the application switch to different passphrase, which is different uh, areas in your wallet without entering the um, the uh, the path the the, um, the disconnecting reconnecting you should at most maybe enter your your um, pin over again um, if you ask me but not the whole thing just ridiculous uh, start and disconnect reconnect it, it makes it very very um, annoying if you ask me to use um, and that's that's part of the the the, the um, the things I hate about these things, right? And it's really difficult to to go through them. And uh, here, again, passphrase. Um, I'm going to uh, enter in um, any passphrase. Hang on. I'm going to enter any passphrase. Uh, right? And one of the things you could do, right, in order to, to hide the fact that you have a passphrase is you could disable the passphrase option on this so that it comes in when it comes in it doesn't bother asking you for a passphrase and then you could go enable it only when you're trying to use your wallet but then that's a, another massive amount of steps just to get to your cold uh, storage wallets right so I mean to, to remove this right you'd have to go um, Click there, and then you'd have to uh, accept it on here. I'm not going to remove it because I don't want to deal with this uh, again, um, disconnecting and reconnecting. So there it is. You have your passphrase. Uh, it will give you different wallets depending on what passphrase you enter. Uh, so long as you have the device, this thing, forget, this computer, forget the device every time you disconnect. Um, that's the only way you can get away with uh, that. Um, if not, it will ask you. It will ask you for the passphrase that you last entered, and every single time, and um, that's that's how this works. So, yeah. And uh, well, I hope uh, you learned something about this. I uh, hope the, because like I didn't know about this until I talked to somebody at uh, at Anarchopoco, and he showed me this uh, cool feature of um, the hardware wallets. And yeah, I, am, I learned something and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. So thanks for watching. And if you're interested in purchasing a treasure, uh, you can see in the link in the description below, I have like access, you have like the, 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 uh, the link to the, uh, the website with the affiliate code. So thank you. Bye now.